Um, our topic is uh, the thorough robustness of uh, stabilized neural ODE might be from obfuscated uh, gradients. So the outline is like this. So first of all, uh, we will introduce the authority uh, examples, uh, attacks as well as defenses. Uh, began with uh, the uh, neural ordinary differential equations, we will propose of a uh, uh, deep stable OD network, uh, followed by uh, many uh, experiments, including positive and uh, negative experiments, uh, as well as some analysis uh, for uh, those two experiments. So first of all, let's say what is the author example. So the left hand side is, uh, is the original image, which can be correctly classified uh, by the neural network uh, to be a panda uh, with 16% um, uh, confidence. However, when adding some noise, um, the perturbed image will be wrongly classified by the neural network to be a gimbal uh, with 100% confidence. So we call this kind of uh, perturbed image, which is hard, which is uh, simple, which is simple to our human, but hard for neural networks to be uh, the authority examples. The formal definition, the formal definition is very simple. Uh, so it is so they are generated by minimizing this function with uh, some constraints. And uh, so as for the adversarial attacks, um, so it can be roughly uh, divided into gradient-based and gradient-free attacks. The gradient-based attacks will access the uh, gradients uh, of the original neural networks, uh, but uh, uh, gradient-free do not. And the key difference is that uh, uh, the key difference is that the gradient-based uh, attacks uh, cannot identify whether the original uh, network, the, 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 the network have, uh, or the defenses have the obfuscated, obfuscated gradients, which is a very important phenomenon. So um, in a thorough robustness, gradient masking is a phenomenon widely associated with the obfuscation of gradient information in gradient-based uh, adversarial attacks, yet fatal and uh, robust gradient and gradient-free attacks that's giving us a false sense of adversarial robustness. And this can be seen from this table. So, uh, uh, so those defense, uh, those, those defense are uh, fail to uh, fail to defend fail to defend uh, this uh, the their uh, their uh, designed attacks. So, uh, so which so which means that those uh, those defenses have gradient masking effect, which is not the true robustness, but also robustness. Um, uh, as for the adversarial defenses, so the, perhaps the most important one should be adversarial training. And uh, the Arousal training uh, tries to solve the following minimax problem. And because of this, it has some problems. The first one, like the norm agnostic setting, and uh, it, it also have the trade-off between natural accuracy and the uh, robustness. And also uh, computationally very expensive. So the question, instead of a sort of training, can we design a stable network architecture whose natural training is stable? And there are uh, some previous works on robust network architecture design. So like uh, the Pasovo network and L2 non-extensive neural networks. So both of those two works tries to control the DPS constant of the network. Uh, however, uh, the robustness uh, uh, are much weaker than the uh, out of training. So our idea came from a market paper. So they empirically report that the capacity uh, affect its robustness. And we know that the depth of the uh, network uh, also relates with the capacity. So inspired by this, we use the OD network since OD network are probably limited of ResNet. So uh, we begin to introduce the neural ordinary differential equations. So, um, uh, so first of all, let's say uh, the ResNet block as uh, neural, neural D is closely related to rest, rest block. So this one is the, the rest block. And uh, when we write it into equations, it will have, it will become this form, the rest equation about Z and X. And when we take, uh, when we take limit on this delta T, then it will become, so when we take the limit of delta T, then uh, it will become the uh, neural D about uh, about X. So this is the original uh, uh, neural ODE. 
uh, that however this so however this form does not have a robust uh, does not ensure the robustness of uh, uh, of this one of uh, uh, of x so uh, inspired by this one we introduce our parametric od block with a small uh, demi factor gamma here so different with this one, uh, we uh, directly use those two equations to form uh, an OD system about X and Z. Compared with the original ResNet block, um, so uh, it is like this form, and our uh, stable OD block is like this form. So we take in the X key and we solve an OD system, and we uh, take the X uh, key plus one um, to be the output. And we can prove, and and I can prove that our OD block is stable uh, under some cases, under some condition. So uh, the the theorem has the stability of OD blocks. Suppose that the activation function sigma is strictly monotonic, uh, monotonically um, increasing, and the positive damping factor is small. So let the second matrix to be the minus transpose of the first matrix. Then, for any implementation of network parameters, so uh, our uh, OD system is stable in the sense of Nyapunov. So uh, this one is the minus, minus transpose of this one. And uh, so there are some benefits uh, of our square symmetric architecture. The first one is the change of uh, dimensionality. So uh, uh, by the help of uh, uh, the introduction of the intermediate uh, parameter uh, variable Z, so this is a sharp uh, contrast to the original design general OD, which only have one uh, variable x. And the second benefit is the parameter efficiency, as the scarce metric have only a half man number of parameters. And the last one is the inference time robustness, as uh, the, the, the theorem uh, does not care the whether it is training or test. So, uh, so with the scarce magic architect, so with the scarce magic block, we can form our deep stable OD block with uh, six uh, stable OD block. This one, this five, one, and followed by a polling, and uh, this OD block to give the output. And so, in the following, uh, we will show uh, some. We will show uh, the experiments to. Uh, 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 for the robustness of our deep stable OD networks. And so as for the models, uh, we choose ResNet 10 here. And uh, for the SONet, we replace uh, the residual block uh, in ResNet 10 to be our uh, stable scarce magic OD block. And for uh, and we also have uh, uh, SO block, which replace the first convolutional layer in ResNet 10 with uh, the scarce magic OD block. And uh, also we have uh, the OD net. We, we use the original OD net as a comparison. Uh, for the attacks, uh, we use uh, L-infinity, L2, and uh, uh, PG attacks uh, for the white box attack and the L-infinity CW attack. For the uh, black box attack, we use SVSE attack. And uh, uh, for training method, we use trace as our baseline and our training method. Uh, for the OD servers, uh, we use uh, fixed step size and adaptive step size as a comparison. And uh, for the fixed step, step size, we use the Azure method and RK4. And for the adaptive step size, we use the Hing and the Boy 3, uh, dual, dual pre 5. Unless uh, further declar declaration, so we use dual pre 5 as the default server. And all of the experiments have the same settings. Um, so uh, let's first see the prototype experiments. So this table is the comparison between SONet and SO block with natural training and the ResNet with trees and the PGD attacks on CIFAR 10 dataset. So the above one, so the above is the PGD 20. The below one is uh, the PGD 1000. So let's first see the PGD 20. So in this line, so those two line, those two line, those, those two row, are the results for ISO net ISO block. So uh, this column is the natural accuracy. So we can see natural accuracy of ISO net and ISO block are much higher than the trace trained and rest net, around 10% improvement. As for the L infinity and L2 uh, robust accuracy, 
So both of them, both of two, are uh, have large improvement from the tree trained ResNet around. So it's especially for this one, around twenty percent improvement. So even with PGD one thousand, so we can see in this case with PGD one thousand, uh, the SO block still uh, goes uh, 55 percent robust accuracy on PGD. Uh, IO infinity accuracy, robust accuracy, which is uh, around 20% improvement uh, with the trace trained ResNet. So this table shows that um, uh, in terms so um, in terms of in terms of natural accuracy and uh, IO infinity L2 uh, robust accuracy, other proposed SO net and SO block are much higher than the trace trained uh, ResNet ResNet. However, uh, there are uh, some negative experiments. So this table summarizes uh, the comparison of uh, those uh, previous uh, networks uh, with uh, under the CW and SPSA attacks on different data set. So, uh, so it is clear that other proposed SONet and SO block fail to defend the CW attack and SPSA attack. So go to nearly 0% on CW attack. However, uh, um, although um, the Tristrain ResNet 10 uh, still defend um, the CW attack and the SDSA attack successfully. So which means that there exists a uh, gradient masking in our proposed as uh, deep stable OD network. So uh, we so we have so we have so we do uh, more experiments. Uh, to check this uh, on uh, different solvers. So this one, so this table summarizes the, com the ISO block and, and OD net with different solvers and the PD attack. So, so we can see that, so with the fixed step size solver, like Euler and RK4, Euler and RK4, both of ISO block and SOD net fail to defend the PGD attacks. However, with adaptive step size solver, uh, both of those two uh, network can defend PDD attacks. So which means that it is exactly the gradient masking effect and uh, it comes from the adaptive step set solver. So uh, furthermore, we did uh, we, 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 we do analysis on the uh, solver and the PDD iterations. Um, so for fixed solver uh, with different PDD iterations, um, this we can see that uh, the adaptive step size is different um, for different PD iterations, which means that the estimation for the gradient of uh, PD attacks is uh, different. So it is uh, so it, so it, so that is exactly the uh, gradient masking effect. Um, uh, so um, in summary. Uh, we design a stabilized uh, neural OD network named SONet, whose OD blocks are scarce magic and proved to be stable. And by experiment, we show that uh, this SONet with natural training can achieve comparable robustness with uh, with uh, third training uh, at the PD attacks without sacrifice natural training. Moreover, so we find that adapt adaptive step size numerical OD solvers such as uh, BOIS3 and WQ5 have gradient effect, gradient masking effect that fails to uh, fails the PDD attacks, which are sensitive to gradient information of training loss. And uh, finally, we provide a new explanation that the observations of OD based network mainly comes from the obfuscated gradients in numerical OD solvers with adaptive step size.